I want to start with Europe because, of course, the Europeans, they don't have big tech companies, but they do have a lot of people that focus on how to regulate tech companies uh, more effectively for society. Do you think they're actually accomplishing that right now? Hmm. One of the things that I think most people don't realize about the large tech companies is that they're significantly less transparent than any of the major technologies or tech companies that ran our economy 100 years ago. One of the most important things that I think the Digital Services Act, which is the law that just passed in the European Union, is the first time we have legally mandated transparency with the tech platforms. Because these technologies are so opaque, you know, all the important decisions happen behind our screens. Um, we've never had a chance for the public to build a public muscle of accountability. And these companies continue to run ahead of us and we don't even get a chance to like ask our own questions or develop our own theories. And so I think the most important thing the DSA has done is, is actually make that a mandated right, like you can data access. Um, the fact that they're also asking for public risk uh, assessments, having the companies actually disclose the risks the company, companies know about, because right now the playing field's that unlevel. I think those could have really transformative effects just because we're starting so far behind. Now, Europe is a big market. It's the largest common market in the world. But on, on the social media side, Europe, because it's so big, uh, you know, even if you have regulations that are expensive for companies to put in place, it's also expensive for companies not to have unified standards. And so I'm wondering, do you believe that the Europeans passing this new law means that the American companies will eventually move towards those standards even in the United States? So I think the interesting thing is that uh, I like to think about how companies change or how companies become aligned with the public good as, as ecosystems of accountability. That, they're, that it's not, you know, there's no industry in the world where the reason why we're safe is because there's a single actor, like the government is the thing that keeps us safe. It's because there are litigators who know what it means to cut corners. Um, and like when, when people are optimizing for profit over safety and hold them accountable, or it's about investors who understand what long-term success looks like and can help govern these companies in a, a more sustainable way. In the case of our relationship with big tech, we've never gone to form those larger organs. When you look at the DSA, the DSA doesn't have a lot of things where they say, you must do X, you must do Y, you must change your company in specific ways. What it says is we want a different relationship. We want you to disclose risks. We want you to just actually give access to data. And, and doing it anywhere in the world actually changes it in the United States because our litigators, our investors will begin to build up the public muscle of accountability, even if we have to use the information that's coming out of Europe. So in other words, what's, what happens in Europe doesn't stay in Europe. Doesn't stay in Europe. It's not Vegas. So, <laughs> As much as Facebook might wish it was.